using Dropbox on your phone. Um, I am using an iPhone. I assume the controls that I'm going to do are the same on an Android phone. Uh, but I cannot confirm that. So if they're not the same, they're probably going to be similar. Right? But um, first things first is downloading Dropbox. You go to the App Store. And you can download Dropbox through there. Uh, it's a free download. And when you sign in, make sure that you are signing in using, uh, using the email address that your professor has shared with you. For most of you, it will be your CUNY First. Uh, sorry, it might be your CUNY First login. Uh, it might be your City Tech email. Um, but most likely, it's going to be what email is on your CUNY First file. Right? So as long as you're using the same email that your professor shared and your professor created a folder with, then you should both be able to see into that folder. Right? Most, the, the most common problem with one person not being able to see it is that they are logging into Dropbox using a different email address. Right? So um, that's, that, that's the first thing. Right? Uh, so once you get into Dropbox, <coughs> um, I see all my folders here. Um, home is going to have some different stuff. But here under files, you'll see all the folders that have either been created by you or shared to you. Uh, hit create. And under create, there's the first option is to take a photo. The second option is to scan a document. Uh, what we want to do is scan a document. Uh, the important thing is that we are scanning PDF files. We are not uploading JPEG files, right? Your standard camera on your phone will take JPEG pictures. And that will not be usable by your professor. So let's scan a document. And the camera automatically comes up. If this is your first time using it, it'll probably ask for permission. You could just hit allow. And I have a problem that's done here. Let's say that we need to do this problem. So we'll t press the shutter to take a picture. And this is the way it looks. It looks basically like a photo, right? If we hit the three lines in the middle, the three lines with those circles, we have the option to play around with uh, the margins and the corners and stuff like that. Um, Sometimes the detection is, is a little bit off, so if you want to fix it, you can, you know, maybe not include those spirals or the holes or something like that. That's entirely up to you. But if you hit the, these three circles in the center, um, this allows you to change the style of the scan. Right now it's on original, which is essentially, uh, looks like a photo. All right, if I hit whiteboard, then it, it kind of pops the, the writing a little bit more and reduces any shadows or anything like that that are created from overhead lighting. Uh, black and white, as far as I have seen, looks the same as whiteboard. Uh, you can hit the semicircle with the black and white to change the contrast. And um, I don't really know what this is going to do. Uh, you know, it's going to create a little more shadow or stuff like that. Uh, this I you generally leave alone. But once all this is done, uh, this is fine. It looks good. Then hit done. Right. And so this is what we what we came up with. And this is one page now. So if I hit the plus on the lower left hand corner, I can scan a second page. Right. Again, t take a note that I have a shadow here going on. But once I I switch to that whiteboard, right? This whiteboard setting, the shadow is pretty much gone. And we can change that corner a little bit. It came, um, you know, just a little bit uh, kind of crooked. And this looks a little bit more straight, so that's good. And now what we have is, see it says two of two. And the first page says one of two. This is now a multi-page document. Uh, the important, one of the important things is that you want to be able to upload your entire assignment at once instead of in separate files. Right, so if you have three pages of work, upload them as one single three-page document instead of three one-page documents. Right, this is going to be uh, much easier on your professor and whoever is receiving these files. Uh, let's say that we want a third page here. Right, we have one problem here, two problems here. Hit the plus sign again, and we can scan something else. Let's scan. Uh, let's scan this dragon, just for fun. 
And again, the it came out a little bit crooked, so if we change the margins or change these corners a little bit, um, and this one, since it is a picture, you know, we'll, we'll deal with that little shadow. Maybe the contrast will get rid of it or something. It looks like it won't. But again, again, change those those corners so that it comes out a little bit straighter instead of crooked or diagonal. And this is our dragon. So this is our third page. All right, so one, two, three. And when we're done, um, oh, one thing is that if you end up, um, you know, holding your camera differently and it comes out sideways, all you have to do is on the lower right-hand side, hit this rotate button. Uh, I'm sure that we've all, you know, rotated pictures in our iPhone or our, our Android or our phones before. So this is that same, uh, that same concept, right? We want to make sure everything is nice and straight. Hit the next button. So another important piece here, right? The first is up top, it says file name. Press on that. And you'll see that this is how the default uh, file is being named, which is 2020-06-08, that's today's date. But then it says 14, 16, 13, and that absolutely means nothing. So your professor, if your professor has not told you, ask them, ask your professor how you want the file to be named. Um, for me, my name is Bruce Kahn. So I think last name and then first initial is good, right? This means that the file will be ordered under the the sender's last name, right? Which is how most, you know, class lists and things like that are ordered. So this is, this is good. Another thing I like my students to do is to put the date, right? 06-08-2020 will mean that your, the file again will be ordered. If it's ordered by name, it will be ordered by now name and date, which is important. And if this is a homework, you can put HW, maybe, or if it's an exam and it's, you know, five pages of work on an exam, you can write exam one, exam two. Uh, if it's in a, you know, class assignment, you know, class work or something like that. Uh, let's assume that this is a homework, right? Let's write homework um, four. Okay, let's say this is the fourth homework assignment that I need to upload. So we'll hit done. And before we hit save, we have to tell Dropbox where to save it to. Choose a different folder. Now under here, we should see what we saw before, which is all of our folders in Dropbox. Right, I have a couple of them. Uh, you might have some for different classes and things like that. So whatever um, folder your professor shared with you, that's wherever you need to upload it. That's what you're gonna choose right now. I'm gonna choose this example, All right? I uploaded one uh, before just as a test and I will hit set location. So you see the check mark means that it is uploading to this folder called example. Now we can hit save. And it's gonna say saving, and you're gonna see this meter go up, and it might take a little bit for, um, it might take like a couple of minutes for it to, for it to upload. But what you want to do now is, you know, especially if it's the first time first couple times doing it, um, confirm whether they got it. Confirm whether your professor got this and whether your professor can see it. Um, because again, if you are using a different email address to access Dropbox than your professor shared, you know, if I'm, if I'm accessing Dropbox through, you know, one at gmail.com and my professor shared it with one at citytech.edu, mail.citytech.edu, .cuny.edu, then I'm going to be uploading it and the professor's not going to be able to see it. So we want to make sure that, you know, at least for the very first file that the professor can see what's being uploaded and make sure that it's a PDF file. It should say .pdf. Uh, make sure that it's named correctly so that it, it, your professor can find it easily. And then you should be good to go, okay? Um, thank you.